Although the default setting for scheduled events is the calendar view, there is an alternate way of reviewing scheduled data in the grid view. This view offers additional filters which allow for more robust reporting along with a grid-based format for easier exporting options. All functions are available in this view as well. Adding, deleting, bulk editing, and validating of schedules and additionally, this view is the only place for billing purposes in order to create time records. This video will focus on the filter so that you understand the true reporting power available. Client, supervisor, caregiver, date range, and service are all pretty self-explanatory for searching purposes. Keep in mind that multiple entries can be made in each filter. The Clear Filters button will wipe out any entered search criteria. Let's focus on the Open Shifts filter. This is valuable in the event you want to plug any open appointments or have staff looking for hours to work. Choose Open Shifts to look for any schedules specific to any other filters entered as necessary where there is no assigned caregiver. Any of the returned results can be opened individually in order to assign the caregiver. Next, School Day is helpful if you have configured your school calendars in the Authorizations desktop. in order to notate school days versus non-school days. Especially important since some authorizations and treatment plans dictate that more hours can be provided when the clients are not in school. With the school calendar in place, the scheduler will have cues as to the days the selected client is not in school and therefore additional hours may be scheduled in order to maximize utilization. Clicking yes or no will show any entered schedules and the associated client's school days and or non-school days. Keep in mind that when any filter is left blank, the system will return all values accordingly. So when school day is left blank, it will always return both school and non-school day schedules according to all other search criteria entered. The missed shift filter can be useful reporting to understand the volume of missed shifts on both an isolated or global level. Use other filter selections accordingly to drill into missed shifts as needed, or keep in mind that a global search can always be exported in Excel for deeper forensic analysis. In this view, the report may be printed or further exported to filter and drill down as needed in the Excel file. Leaving the misshift type filter blank will show all reasons for a missed shift, whether the client was absent, staff absent, and so on. These missed shift types are all configured so that you can capture the most important reasons to your organization as to why services do not take place. You do have the option to search for specific reasons as needed with this filter. Caregiver Cost Center drills into the cost center associated with the scheduled caregivers. The schedule status is the optional categorization of schedules that provides the color coding on the calendar view. The statuses can be referenced here in order to key them in your search in the grid view. Pay type filter can be valuable when non-billable events are scheduled that are specific to the caregiver only. This will not return any billable scheduled events 
only schedules that are unique to employee non-billable activity. Things like PTO, training time, or any admin time are common examples. Hold bill and hold pay filters will return all associated schedules designated as such, thereby preventing the events from integrating with the billing and or payroll modules. The build status filter allows you to search for schedules with associated time records marked as either build or unbilled. This filter is particularly important if you are using schedules to generate invoices or you want to see if the corresponding notes associated with the schedules have been billed. Any build events may also show the associated claim number. Another filter to use as needed. The paid status allows you to search for schedules with associated time records marked as either paid or unpaid to the staff. Note that this is representing paid time to the employee of the schedule, not the result of billing claims being paid. The imported filter can be used to include schedules with associated time records. If you are billing from scheduled events rather than from notes, this is particularly useful at billing time in order to know which schedules to start billing from. Choosing no and a corresponding date range will help you understand where to pick up on your billing effort. The link to note filter is one of the most critical filters in this view, especially for the services you are requiring the notes to be written from the schedule. Choosing no will report on all schedules that have not yet turned into notes. This should be routinely reported upon in order to ensure notes are getting documented timely. Any schedules that are not converted to notes because the service was never provided should get recorded as missed shifts. Because some of these may already be recorded as missed shift, you may want to use this filter in conjunction with your link to note. This will truly whittle down all schedules not linked to note and not already recorded as missed shift. The type filter allows you to search for either billable or non-billable scheduled events. Billable meaning any schedule related to a client and authorized service, non-billable meaning any schedule related to caregiver only. The actual time status filter allows you to see schedules that are associated with different actual time statuses. You can choose from OK, revision, or blocked, each of which indicate the status in the billing module. Finally, the deviates from note filter allows you to see schedules that differ from the time on the associated note. Each filter has a corresponding column in the grid that will be available should you export this information into Excel. As you can see, there is a lot of reporting power in this view. Should you have any questions, contact support by going to Options, Support, Contact Support.